real quick, let me show you what I've been working on. Also, first time I've had the car up in the air, and I gotta say, I like it. So I wanted to get this fixed sooner rather than later because brake lights are important. I'm working on the two switches that are attached to the master cylinder. How do I know that? Because of YouTube. You can see the one on the right has not yet been replaced. The one on the left has been replaced. Uh, <clears throat> it was very difficult to reach in there. There's not a lot of room. I was able to get the, uh, the wrench in there, but I could only grab it and maybe get a 16th of a turn at a time, and I kind of had to come in at a weird angle, but with enough patience, I did it. Uh, had a rag underneath to catch some of the brake fluid that came out, and now it's time to do the other one. The goal here is to get the brake lights working because that's the last thing I need to do before it is street legal. I've got the insurance on there. I just got my vintage historic plates, so that's exciting. And now this, hopefully it should be a quick fix. Okay, there you can see a little better. Also, I'll point out, I was able to get these uh, at O'Reilly's. Here's the old one. New one looks just like it, but clean and in better shape. It's really cool that I can just go down the street and get 50 year old car parts. So I like that. So here's what I'm getting at as far as room. I'm up against there. And so that, I got maybe an eighth of a turn on that, but with enough patience, it'll get done. There we go. Two new brake light switches. Yes. All right, the wires are back on. Uh, the one here on the left, it basically disintegrated. So I'm gonna have to see if I can find replacement. Uh, you know, it's like the plastic housing and the rubber gasket. That one's also not in great shape. But for now, it's good enough. I don't plan to drive this in the rain. So yeah, let's test it. Check it out, I fixed my first thing. Ta-da!